This is a game part of a series of games available from a cooperation between pre-service mathematics teachers at Grand Valley State University and the GVSU Regional Math Center. It's called Escape Dr. Latham's Evil Room. For this game, you will need 17 pages of printer paper, three pieces of cardstock, scissors, 10 envelopes, a clothes pin, and a game packet. Optional is a whiteboard, an expo marker, or a scrap piece of paper to work the puzzles out. The goal of this game is to escape Dr. L's laboratory by completing a series of math puzzles. This game is focused on mostly third grade multiplication skills. While the first three puzzles are addition and place value, they are there to get the players used to using the game format. To begin this game, we will receive a main story card. This card will explain the story and then instruct you to read the instructions card. The instruction card will explain that each solution will give you a three code symbol, one red, one purple, and one orange. If your code is right, the holes next to the symbol should be filled by the same color. If you choose to print this out in black and white, this will also work. You will just begin your solution with the bigger wheel and work your way down to the middle one. Line the wheel with the color in the first two holes. If this hole is filled by the same color, you have found a solution noting that they must be lined up. Once this happens, you can open the envelope that matches the solution color. For example, if your solution gave you all green dots, you can open the green envelope. An example would be, one of my solutions is the C symbol, the crown symbol, and in half circle. So I'll first start with the C symbol. I will then move to the crown symbol. And then, the half circle. The color field in these two holes is orange. So I will smooth my wheel to orange. I see now that orange is filled in here. This means I got my solution correct and I can now move on to the orange envelope. Always read the scene card first. You can provide a blank whiteboard sheet and a marker to help kids solve out the riddles as they will have to use their math skills. Once you solve an envelope, remind kids to put all the pieces back before continuing to the next envelope, otherwise a big mess could occur. Tell kids to not switch the solution around to guess answers because bad things will happen. Read each scene card carefully before moving to solve the puzzle. Read each puzzle carefully because some are not as easy as it seems. Use the pictures on the fronts of the envelope as they will help you figure out the solutions and where to go next. Here I will show three of my students working on the first task. Scene one. You and your friends are, have nervously opened the first envelope. A card slips out and reads, I'll make this one easy or maybe I won't. Here's the thing, I think it's a fact that many families love each other. What that has to do with anything? Take a closer look at my words and maybe you'll find out. Dr. L. What does that mean and why are certain words slanted? I have no clue, but I think it's you should take her a closer look. Look at her words. Use the outside of the envelope and numbers to find your code. Alright, there's your first task. So you guys need to work together to find out the code to get the camera. Okay, so what makes 16? Um, you could do 10 plus 6. Yeah, okay. Is there a 10 mm. plus, oh, that's a 9. There kind of has to be. They do 5 and 5. 5 and, no. Oh, wait, no. We could do maybe wait, wait, 11, wait. 11. 11. We can try and use 11. Hmm. Then we would need five. Is there a five? <gasps> okay. For reference, this is an image of the first tags and the solution the kids found. Beginning with the number 16, the students were supposed to find a fact family using the numbers given to them. They found that 11 plus 5 equals 16 and continued to create the fat family and got the rest of the code. You can see here that there's a red star, a purple square, 
an orange, a circle, or a smiley face. Because this specific puzzle has two separate solutions, the kids had to figure out whether the orange circle or the smiley face worked to give them their next solution. Star, a purple square. So line up the red star and the purple square. Okay. And then a yellow dot. All these are green, which means you can open the green and okay. the all right. Next puzzle, students will receive a place value riddle and numbers. They will use the riddle to figure out which place the numbers go, and then use that to figure out which number to use for the correct code. What do you think that means? So I think we're going to have to like make a number. Yeah, with this. Yeah. So I think, so... The additional three and two takes the ten, so what's three plus two? Five. You need a five. There's, oh, five. So I think five takes that. Yes. If 21 were subtracted by 19, <laughs> it'd take the thousands. <laughs> One more, guys. Uh... Mine. Subtract the number in the ten thousands from the tens and put it in the ones place. So seven mm. minus five is three. So it's a three. Oh wait, no, two. Wait. Mm. Wait. We need seven minus seven. five. Seven minus five. Oh, it's two. Yeah, two. Yeah, that oh, mm -hmm. this one. Right. So C and so that's D. So where do I put it? C, um, crown, purple crown. Um, and then a hill. So like that one. A yellow head. And then this one. Orange. Orange! Okay, they're all orange. The next envelope is orange. There's an option to play through 10 different puzzles, though only six puzzles were played each round. Two of the puzzles have two answers that will dictate which six puzzles you will play each round. The types of puzzles included are multiplication, two truths and a lie, so multiplication puzzles, place value, addition, and multiplication riddles. Though color is shown here on the envelopes, it is completely optional and only used to help students identify which envelope to open next. You can simply write the name of the color on the envelope and students will still be able to decipher which envelope they need to go to next. I hope this encourages you to try to play this game as it was really fun for my third graders. Thank you and happy escaping.